Hi everybody, Heather with Grace Allen Blinds. Today we're going to finish talking about roller shades by discussing your top treatment options and the mechanics of roller shades. So even after you found a fabric that you may like, there's still quite a few decisions to make. And the first is what type of top treatment, if any, that you want. A roller shade is going to come on a tube. Uh, and you're going to have brackets that screw into the wall or ceiling or door to hold that tube into place. Now the most basic and cost effective way to do a roller shade is just to order it with this tube and these brackets exposed. Uh, the good thing about that is it's super clean, doesn't take up a lot of depth. Uh, some of the drawbacks to that look are that the brackets and the fasteners, which may not match the brackets, are exposed. Um, and those only come in a couple different colors, usually like a white and a black, some companies maybe an off-white. Um, and so if that doesn't match the color of shade that you're getting, or if that contrasts greatly, that might not give you uh, a finished look like you want. Also, there is going to be some light leakage, especially if you're going inside the window. Uh, through the top of the roller, especially as you have that shade lowered and that roll is smaller as the fabric is lowered. Um, so you might want to consider that and if you have a blackout fabric that typically has some of that white backing adhered to it to make light not penetrate that at all. If you do a standard roll where it rolls off the back of the tube, um, you're going to see the backing as the shade rolls up. So if you're sticking with that bare roller and you're doing a blackout fabric, I tend to recommend that we do what's called a reverse roll, which is where the fabric comes off the face of the tube um, so that you always have a finished look regardless of where the shade is positioned. But the drawback can be that it projects out a little bit further away from the glass. Um, on a door, that's especially an issue because we that prevents a little bit more uh, light leakage and less privacy. A metal fascia has a really clean look. Uh, comes in about four or five different colors. You have a bronze, a silver, a black, a white, and ivory. Uh, and, and a clear anodized, which has a little bit of a stainless steel look to it that you can choose from to complement your interior. I've done these contrasting to the fabric that you choose. I've done them something that blends or even something that maybe uh, in the white of the cream to go with the molding around the window. Uh, and they are just a nice clean option uh, that doesn't represent typically a huge investment. So one of my favorites when I'm working with a roller shade. A cassette is a fabric wrapped head rail that the roller tube is contained within from the factory and it's a good look in that if you have a print or a pattern that you really want to carry through uh, the window or the space, the fabric wrap cassette allows you to do that. Um, but there are some plastic end caps. Now for most suppliers, those are color coordinated. But for a couple of my suppliers, they have just one color um, of cassette, which is white. And I don't always love the look of that, depending on the fabric you choose, because those white ends of the cassette and also around the bottom of the cassette stand apart and are a little bit more noticeable. Ask whoever's helping you to show you a photo of what that cassette looks like because like I love Hunter Douglas cassettes because they are completely wrapped and have color matched ends, uh, but some of the other suppliers just do not have that available. So. The last option is a valance. Now this comes separate from the roller shades and mounts around them. It, it can be ordered in any width that you like. It comes, you can have it come in the fabric that you chose for your roller shades, or you can even have it come in something contrasting or different. Um, and it's a nice clean look, but you are limited a little bit on how long those are. Um, the different suppliers just have a few availabilities that can't be completely customized. And I particularly like 
this product when I'm doing a very large opening that maybe has several shades in it so that we can cover that that entirety and kind of give it a cohesive look even though maybe the shades underneath operate separately for function or just fabric limitations. For media rooms and conference rooms where you really need a dark area, a blackout shade with side channels are a good option. You can even add a sill channel to prevent light leakage at the bottom. These are available from most suppliers with a fabric wrap balance or with a metal fascia top. Thanks for watching. You can find more information at graceallenblinds.com under our blog or call us at 405-509-5164.